Hello everybody, it is Indy Meets Disney and we are here at the Wilderness Lodge today. Yep, we're going to be um, trying some breakfast here at the Whispering Canyon Cafe. We've heard really great things about their yummy breakfast and we can't wait to give it a try today. Yeah, let's head in and check it out and uh, we'll take you on with the journey and tell you how everything is. So we have been seated here inside the Whispering Cafe, and it's quite um, beautiful in here. It's a lot really of pretty. wood and um, kind of westerny themed decorations. Like a wilderness lodge, you might say. Wilderness oh, lodge, goodness. yeah. So we're super excited. Um, there's some great skillets coming with lots of different um, breakfasty items, and we'll show those here here when we receive those. Yeah, um, they let us know when we sat down that our servers can be on the sassy side, so that could be fun. Um, the only sassiness we've seen is our server has an interesting name. What is the name? Empty Wallet. Empty Wallet. So I don't know if we'll have an empty wallet, or she has an empty wallet, or what will happen Combination here. of both, it could be. <laughs> so we'll find out. So next step should be coming our skillets out here in a little bit. Yep. So as part of the lighter side skillet, um, which we'll be kind of sharing, there includes this to be some Swiss oatmeal. I'm gonna try to pronounce it. It's called like Bircher Moosley, um, but it's basically a Swiss oatmeal. It is nicely chilled, so kind of like overnight oats. It's got lots of little toppings inside of there. I'm seeing some like, oh, maybe some cranberries, maybe some apples, all sorts of yummy things like that. So that looks pretty yummy. I'm an oatmeal girl through and through. Got some fresh fruit that goes with that. And then also just a little side of yogurt as well. Um, so that's part of the lighter side. And they brought us just a side of stuff that goes with a heritage skillet as well. So we've got the butter and the ketchup and the syrup and the syrup. Um, so yeah, we will receive our skillets here in a little bit. Okay, so we've just finished up like the lighter side sampler platter, you might say at the beginning, the little appetizer preview of it. Um, so the yogurt was very um, sweet. It was good. Way better than the yogurt we had yesterday, which was not so sweet. Yeah. Um, which is kind of odd because um, we Chef Mickey's, Chef Mickey's is more kid friendly. And um, so you think they'd be having the sweeter yogurt there. Um, so I'm glad it was a sweeter yogurt today. I prefer a sweeter yogurt, so that was good. Yep, it was very yummy. Um, the fruit was super duper fresh. So there's um, raspberries and blackberries, which I let him eat because he's a huge fan of those. How were they? They were good. They were very nice size, very fresh. So. Good job on those. <laughs> and then the pineapple, the cantaloupe, and the honeydew was also delicious. Um, very fresh. I love fresh pineapple. You can't beat that. And then the oatmeal, I really, really, really enjoyed. But like I said, I'm an oatmeal girl through and through. Um, so that made me happy. It was chilled. Um, there was lots of, if you're like a, a texture person, you probably wouldn't like it because it had like the mushiness of the oatmeal and the crispy crunchiness of like the cranberries and the little piece of apple. And then there's also nuts inside of it. Um, I couldn't decide if it was either walnuts or pecans, one or the other, um, but I really enjoyed it. You got an oatmeal? So I, I did enjoy like the fruit and the nuts in the oatmeal. That was nice, um, but I did not care for the coldness of the oatmeal. I'm not a cold oatmeal person. I prefer my oatmeal to be hot. Um, so that was probably my least favorite item in the um, three choices, um, but it was okay. But that's probably not something I would get again, personally. It left more for me and I was quite all right with that. So, okay, so we've got our skillets coming right up here in just a moment. Okay, so I have received my heritage skillet. So starting off, I have this house-made butter cheddar biscuit over here with this sausage gravy, so kind of biscuits and gravy. Um, then I also have scrambled eggs. So we'll compare those to Chef Mickey's yesterday, which were really good. Um, we have some country potatoes, and we have some hickory smoked bacon. Uh, here underneath the sausage, which is also here, the pork sausage links. And then of course a Mickey waffle, which is always a staple at breakfast here around Disney World. So super excited about this. Ready to dig in and give this all a try. Okay, so I've received the lighter side skillet. Um, so like I said, I already had that fruit and yogurt and the oatmeal, that chilled oatmeal. So this is the other stuff that comes with it. Um, so right here, we've got the white spinach frittata, kind of like a little 
omelet quiche going on. We've got turkey bacon, turkey sausage, bunch of potatoes, and wait guys, you might think it's Mickey Mouse waffle, but wait, it's a Minnie Mouse waffle. So Cedric actually had this on his skillet and I traded him pretty fairly, a Mickey for a Minnie, so I'm pretty excited about my exchange. And we'll give these a try and let you know how they are. They brought refills. Can you guess what our favorite thing has been so far? Oh my word. We decided they should have brought this from the beginning with all of those biscuits. But we cannot wait. All right, let's talk about those skillets. So thoughts, what do you think? So we'll start with the lighter side. Um, we already shared our thoughts about the fruit and the yogurt and the oatmeal. Um, so then on to like the warm things that we got. So we got that spinach, egg frittata, egg whites. Not enjoyable. <laughs> it didn't have very much flavor. Um, and I wasn't expecting to like it, just because it's not something I would normally eat. Um, and I didn't like it. So, did you like it, honey? No, it was, it was not good at all. We even tried putting some salt on it, and it still didn't get it there where it needed to be. Yeah. So, yeah. But if you're into healthy things, that would be a good healthy option for you to have, and you might like it if you like healthy things. So, um, the country potatoes, I enjoyed them, but they needed a little bit of salt and pepper as well. And they were really good when you dip them inside of the heritage gravy. Yeah. Very good really to pay. <laughs> Our sassy server just came. And then, um, what else was on there? Oh, the turkey sausage. I really like the turkey sausage. The turkey bacon was okay. Um, the turkey sausage had great flavor, um, a nice kind of crisp to it too, um, but it was really good. And that's all that came with mine. Yeah. And what about the heritage? Yeah, I did try that turkey sausage and that turkey bacon. It had good flavor to it. Um, so I enjoyed both those as well. Yeah. Um, as far as for the heritage skillet, um, that um, gravy and the biscuit, the cheddar biscuit, those were awesome. Those were definitely the highlight of that skillet. Um, we had to get refills, which we showed you that on those. Um, and that gravy was just so good. Um, you could dump gravy over everything and yes. just would have made everything perfect. We were actually dipping the potatoes in that, potatoes, the eggs, eggs in that. Um, they just made everything better. I dipped better. my sausage in there. <laughs> Anything you can, just dip it in that gravy. Um, the sausage that came with the heritage skillet was great. The bacon was great, came with it. The eggs, the scrambled eggs were okay. We had better eggs, I thought, yesterday at um, Chef Mickey's. Um, the ones here were a little dried out, um, but that's kind of, scrambled eggs can be hit or a miss, so, I mean, you might get scrambled eggs here and you might um, be a lot better. Um, you just never know with scrambled eggs. Um, oh, Mickey had mini waffles, so um, he didn't have any room for his Mickey waffle. I'm thankful that I traded my mini, or my Mickey for his mini, um, so I did try some of my mini waffle, and it's just one of those nostalgic Disney things, so really can't go wrong with a Mickey waffle yeah. or a mini waffle. Once you had one, you've had one, so I mean, those are pretty much standard. They are. Any restaurant you go to here at Disney property, you get a Mickey or a Minnie waffle. Um, it's just kind of a thing you get. So the potatoes, I thought they were okay. Um, like Katie said, you really need to add salt or pepper to them to get them the, where they need to be. They were great in the gravy. Um, everything, like I said, was great in that gravy. So. Yeah. All in all, though, I think a great meal. I don't know if we mentioned or not, it was all you can eat. Um, so that's kind of cool. So we were able to get more of that gravy and um, biscuits, which were the highlight, like we said. Yep. But so. we could have gotten more of anything. So. Yep, but we're very full where we are right now. So I'm glad we didn't get any more of anything else because we could not have handled it. So, yep. So we'll be back in just a few minutes to wrap this up. All right, so that concludes our breakfast slash brunch at Whispering Canyon Cafe. So, final thoughts? Yeah, it was a really good, really good breakfast brunch experience. Um, and it was really great for the price. So the ones we had, mine lighter side one was $22. His heritage um, skillet was $22 as well. They also offer like a more of like a lunchish one, barbecue, things like that for $24. So it's really reasonable prices. Um, but yeah, it was delicious food. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Definitely a place I'd like to come back and maybe try dinner. They have like all you can eat. Uh, barbecue plates, those run, I think, what did you say, 30 Like 34-ish, yeah. Yeah, so really reasonable prices. We still were able to get our AP discount on top there, so you can save a lot of money yep. um, on top of that, and uh, definitely beats theme park prices, so coming out and eating at the hotels, you can save some money that way as well. Um, and overall, great breakfast. I enjoyed it a lot, a lot of great food. All you can eat, can't beat the price for that as well. And the servers were lots of fun too. Yeah, so. they made it, made it extra fun, yep. so. So we highly recommend coming to a place like this. The Whispering Canyon Cafe is great for breakfast, brunch, 
um, but give it a try any time of day. We think it'll be lot awesome. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Hit a moment and take a moment to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and until next time we will see you, see you real soon. soon. Bye, Bye guys. Everybody.